Hey everybody, welcome back to A Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4, and this is Luminous Arc from the Nintendo DS, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So let's hopefully finish off this horribly long cutscene. Hey, hey, you are such a spoiled child, Mel, yes. Please, our guest, make yourself comfortable. Yes, thank you very much for your kindness. This village has many interesting documents, yes? I am sure that you should be able to find some useful information. Perhaps you ought to go find out the truth about this planet. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. One more thing. I have created this little device for you to try out. Yes, here, take it. You'll be able to battle with people like yourselves from other lands. Perhaps doing so will help you find rare items as well, yes? You should try it out. Ho, 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 ho. You are now able to connect with other players to play multiplayer battles. You can enter a battle from the network menu, which apparently is very laggy. I've never tried it before, because nobody else I know has this game. I'm so tired. I feel like I could sleep forever. Are you alright, Cecile? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go back to the church? I know it's tough, but rest up. Let's think about this tomorrow. I'm always here if you want to talk about anything. Pointless conversations. Lucia. Hmm? Yeah? Thank you for what you've done for Theo. I just did what anyone would do. It was just common courtesy. Besides, it was my fault that Theo was cursed. What are you talking about? It was all Vanessa's fault. Well, Vanessa found out that you were my friend. And after she found out, she tried to make you hers. That ended up getting Theo hurt. I see. Oh, we finally get an explanation of this ever since, what, the third part of this game? How cute. Word. Good morning, big brother. Good morning. Hey, how's your arm doing? It's all back to normal now. It doesn't hurt either. I see. I'm glad to see. I'm glad to hear it. But there's more. I can bring up the dragon's power. I will now. What? Uh, are you okay with doing that? Hee <laughs> hee. Cool, huh? Oh, yeah. That's good for you, Theo. Yep. Theo is now a Rim Guardian. Class change, and it really makes no difference. You guys are the Dragon Brothers, yo? Yeah? Hey, Mr. Manatee, I'm Alf and he's Theo. Don't call us Dragon Brothers. I'm sorry, yo? Yeah? Could you not call me Mr. Manatee? My name is Pollen Pollen, yo? Yeah? Oh, okay, sorry about that. Nice to meet you, Pollen. Same to you, Alf, Theo. Good morning, Alf, Theo, and the stage is student. Would you guys help me out? Where can I find the library the great sage was talked about last night? I want to learn everything I can about my lovely witches, so I'd like to take a look at it. The library's over there, yo. Yeah? A little while ago, the priestess and the spiky head man went there too. Cecile and Leon? W what? <laughs> wow, 
Wow, they're fast. He's already gone. <sighs> hey, let's go to the library, too. Yeah. I want to find out more about what Lucia was talking about yesterday. I could probably find out more at the library. Let's go, brother! Alright, first of all, we have to talk to people. Of course, did the background randomly change, or was it just me? It looks like all you witches seem to have something on your minds. Well, we have to save the planet, so yeah, we're a bit tense. I wonder how long Vanessa's going to fight by herself. Vanessa's just doing things her own way. She relies on her own strength too much, and that's what makes her aggressive. All we witches really want is peace on this planet. We have lived quietly in this forest for a very long time. But now that your god's power is building up once again, we can't just hide here in our forest and hope nothing happens. Okay. Speak with Leon, even though he's in the library. Oh, it's Leon and Cecile. Hey, Cecile, are you alright? Ever since we entered this forest, you've... Thank you for worrying about me, Leon. I don't know. What if the witches aren't inherently evil? Is everything we were taught a lie? The church's teaching, justice, blessings... Are they all just stories designed to cloud our minds so we can't see the truth? Cecile. I'm a little confused right now, but I think I'll find my answer soon. So you can just give me a little more time to think? Yeah, as you wish. But even if you're having trouble, don't hesitate to talk to me. Because I, you know, I... Love you! Cecile, my love! If you have anything to say, please say it to me! Nikolai? Leon, I can't allow you to monopolize all the lovely Cecile's time. I was just worried about her and... No, I will not allow it. Never! Hey, you guys! Nikolai, Claire was looking for you. The beautiful Claire? If a lovely witch calls out to Nikolai, I would follow her to the ends of the world. So... Nikolai's imagination is going a little too far. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Cecile, you'd rather have some peace and quiet, right? We won't bother you anymore. Take your time. Thanks, you two. Yay! To the library! Ancient battle. Is this the real history of Alhit disaster? A thousand years ago, when this planet was peaceful and calm, a strange being appeared and warped the fabric of karma. It fed off the life force and the creatures that lived on the planet, the being known as the Luminous God. This god brought havoc and nearly destroyed the planet. However, the planet used its energies to create witches and dragons in order to fight the destructive power of God. The witches and dragons held opposing powers and used their might to defeat God with the power of the ultimate room given to the witches. However, this power buckled the ground and set fire to the sky itself. The world was shrouded in flame and dust. The sun cast out and darkness enveloped the world. The last of the dragons was about to succumb from its injuries to battle. But it managed to create a spiritual barrier around the leaf forth with the last part of its strength and escaped to parts unknown. The few witches that were remained put the rest within the leaf forest held within the Mother Lapis until they were once again needed. The witches were called upon to protect the planet if it's put in danger. At this time, the Mother Lapis will release them in the world. Anyways, I'm going to read the next book when I come back, so I'll catch you guys later. See ya.